Hi, I'm Madame Pamita, and this is Madame Pamita's Parlor of Wonders. You can find me online at parlorofwonders.com. So today I'm going to talk to you about using skull candles in a spell. A lot of times people come into my shop and they wonder what the skull candles are used for, how to use them, is it some kind of gothy thing, or we're wishing somebody bad, or something like that. Not at all. Uh, skull candles are used for um, getting someone to think a certain way. We're using them to get someone's mind on a certain topic. So we have three available. There's um, black ones, white ones, and red ones. A black one can be used for um, negative work, but also can be used for um, clearing out or um, really even protecting someone. So um, you could use that for that, or you can use it for some negative work if you are so inclined. A white one is used also for clearing out, um, for blessing, and for um, using in as any kind of generic way that you want to use um, to get someone to be thinking in a certain way. Um, example could be maybe you want someone to uh, pick you for a job or you want someone to be thinking of you um, something that's not necessarily romantic um, you can use that one also in cases where you want someone to have um, they're, like they're dealing with mental health issues and you want to set that intention for their good mental health you can also use a white skull candle for that Red skull candles are used exclusively for love issues, so that you want to have someone thinking about you romantically, um, you want to be on someone's mind, then you would use a red skull candle. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do um, a little love spell for bringing in um, someone, getting someone to be thinking about you, getting their mind on you. So um, we're going to use this, um, for our case, we're going to use this red skull candle and we're going to use um, some fire of love oils for someone to have passionate, exciting, sexy thoughts about um, you in this case. So um, what you want to do is, um, with what you're going to need is a skull candle. You're going to need some oil like this um, beautiful Lucky Mojo fire of love oil. You're going to need um, something to write with, either a knife or I like to use a pencil. It's easy to write with and it scratches in the wax. Um, and then some matches for burning that candle. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is write what it is that you want that person to be thinking about you. And so you can write that person's name on the candle and you can write what it is that you want them to be thinking. So um, you can write single words or you can write sentences. You can write, I'm giving the example, I'm uh, writing passion, you can write um, love and so on. You write those words. What it is that you want them to be thinking about you. You can write, make a heart with your name and the other person's name in it. Any of those things are fine. The next next thing you're going to want to do is to dress that candle with oil and what. We're, because we're wanting to bring something in, you're going to want to dress the candle in an upward motion. So you put a few drops of the oil on your hand, in both hands, and then apply it to the candle in an upward motion. What's nice to do is to even talk to that candle as if you're talking to that person, you're thinking about, you know, you're going to fall in love with me, you're going to think loving thoughts, you're going to think sexy, passionate thoughts about me, you're going to have dreams about me. All these things you could be saying as you're um, working on that candle. You might even want to work on that candle for um, a little while before you even light it, meaning over a course of several days before you even set the intention. Really get it really working. So maybe for three days or seven days, once a day, you talk to that person and you put that oil on that candle and put it in an upward motion, um, describing what it is that you want them to be thinking about you. And then um, when you're ready, either right away or after um, working on a candle for a little while, you're going to want to um, set the intention for that candle. So you light that candle, uh, speaking your intention. I want uh, my true love to be thinking about me and only me uh, to be thinking loving, passionate thoughts and having beautiful dreams about me. It's a good example. You're going to make up your own words. And then you light that candle.
One of the things that's really important to know is that this is a long burning candle and so you can burn this candle at intervals. You can set it, let's say you're going to burn it over the course of seven days. So in between, you let it burn a little bit each day and um, at, at the end of the time that you're burning it, um, you want to snuff it out. You don't want to blow it out. So you can either wet your fingers and pinch it out or you can snuff it out with a um, some kind of glass or shot glass or a snuffer, even a candle snuffer. Um, you don't want to blow out the candle because blowing out the candle ends the work. So make sure that you, um, if you are going to go to sleep, if you're going to be leaving the house or you're ending your work for that day, that you snuff the candle out before you to, to conclude your work. Um, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Madam Pamita. This is Madam Pamita's Parlor of Wonders. You can find me online at parlorofwonders.com.